Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today I'm talking about the new balancing update that's coming to Clash of Clans in March. You guys have probably seen um, some a few sneak peeks of it and seen some in-game information. The update's actually going to include a few different things. We're going to see um, changes to the main village, which we're going to talk about in this video and how that's going to affect clan wars, but we're also going to see uh, changes uh, new stuff in the builder hall mode as well as new new things going on with the magical items and like the village trader and all that stuff that uh, goes with clan games but um, focus of this channel as always is clan wars and let's talk about these balancing changes stuff going on to inferno towers pekka uh, new trap levels stuff at town hall 11 all this new stuff even a multi-mortar which um, seems like it's going to be a pretty cool new feature. So in this video, just given the overall analysis, um, I'm going to have a specific video coming out showing some actual gameplay, uh, specifically the P.E.K.K.A. at Town Hall 9, which might make a big uh, difference. So let's just kind of summarize what we know is coming, and then I'll talk about kind of each Town Hall level, 9, 10, and 11, the uh, effects it's going to have. So coming from the post made by Supercell in a number of different places. We have, uh, first and foremost, the P.E.K.K.A. balancing. Um, they've done this so many times to the P.E.K.K.A. It seems like it's become obsolete, then they change it, but um, it's still obsolete, and now they change it again. Um, they are adding, they're bringing the level 4 down to Town Hall 9, which was in, uh, used to be at Town Hall 10. They're bringing the level 6 down to Town Hall 10, uh, which used to be at Town Hall 11. And at the top, at Town Hall 11, they're adding... Uh, the next level of the P.E.K.K.A. level 7 and they've adjusted the upgrade times and the costs of course so a new P.E.K.K.A. level and then everything's shifting down one as for the next one we have Inferno Tower balancing uh, basically they're changing the multi-mode damage they're increasing it slightly so we're talking about 3, 4, or four, three and 6 DPS for level 3, 4, and 5. That's an increase. So just a very small increase for each of the Inferno Tower levels once you get to level 3 and beyond. So not really a big change, but it is something and something that I uh, even brought up and other people have been looking for. And hand in hand with that is they're changing the single targeting mode to uh, increase slower. So it maxes out at damage, like something crazy, like a thousand or two thousand DPS. It takes longer to get there, so it's not going to pop a lava hound or take out the king quite as quickly. Um, it's going from four point two five seconds to five point two five seconds, so that should have um, a slight impact on keeping your tanks alive longer. Should a single inferno tower lock on to them, um, the next one is the wizard tower. They are just reducing the damage uh, 56 to 54 DPS, a very, very small change. Uh, they're reducing the Wizard Tower damage at level 9, so uh, that is Town Hall 10 level, max for Town Hall 10. A few new trap levels. We have the Skeleton Trap level 4. I think that becomes a thing at Town Hall 10. Uh, we have the Giant Bomb level 5. That's a Town Hall 11 change, not Town Hall 10. Um, that's an important note. The Air Bomb level 5 is also for Town Hall 11. And I think the new bomb, uh, just the little bomb on your base, not the giant bomb, it is going to level 7. I think that will be Town Hall 10. So the Skelly Trap and the bomb are Town Hall 10 changes. Giant Bomb, Air Bomb, Town Hall 11 changes. And really the Giant Bomb and the Air Bomb are the are, are two more important traps, especially in terms of getting a new level, than the uh, regular sized bomb and the skeleton trap because all you get is like one more skeleton so big changes there are really affecting Town Hall 11 I guess not even big changes but the, the more significant ones are at Town Hall 11 um, also for Town Hall 11 you can now upgrade all your walls to level 12 it was kinda weird how you couldn't do that at first um, maybe they were thinking about having those walls have some kind of power or like enchantment or something which is why they wanted to limit how many you could build or maybe there was some reason to slowly introduce them into the game um, a little at a time. But now you can finally get all of those level 12 walls. Um, two more things they have at the end here. The Barbarian King's Iron Fist, so his uh, the King's ability, 
will only affect the barbarians he spawns. So if you send in like 20 barbarians with your king, they will not get that Iron Fist ability. They won't speed up. They won't do more damage. But really in war, no one's sending in barbarians along with their king. So that really has no impact um, for our purposes here. And then this last one, which I'm excited about, and um, I'm hoping I can show some gameplay for very soon, is the multi mortar which is a geared up version. Um, if you guys play the Builder Hall at all, you know what the multi mortar is. It's a, um, a geared up version of the regular mortar, and it's coming to the main village just like we have the double cannon and the uh, whatever, the, the little archer tower that shoots faster. So we're adding, they're adding that, just one mortar, and that unlocks a Town Hall 10. So might be something there. Anyway, now let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the impact this is going to have on Clan Wars at each of these Town Hall levels. Okay, so starting with Town Hall 9, not a whole lot is changing, and I think that's somewhat of a good thing. Uh, we don't want to see Town Hall 9 have too many uh, big changes to it. I'd like to see a few defensive changes to kind of give the defender a slight advantage. Right now we're seeing um, Town Hall 9's in CWL Invite. Um, it's about a 60-65% three-star rate on average. Um, some clans are up near 80 that's a pretty high, especially because that includes fresh attacks. But at the same time, I understand that um, for a lot of clans, it's much lower. And Town Hall 9 isn't meant to be a very difficult Town Hall level. It should get more difficult as you go up to Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. So I can see the reasoning why we want Town Hall 9 to have, you know, a, above 50% hit rate average, even for someone who's not in one of these top war clans. But as far as this uh, update goes, the only thing that I see having a significant impact are the new level 4 P.E.K.K.A.s, and I've been trying them out in the developer build. I will have a video posted uh, very soon after this one, uh, maybe a day later or so, which will kind of go over uh, the P.E.K.K.A.s. It'll show attacks with them and what I think is going to be the most powerful type of attack using these new P.E.K.K.A.s because they are level 4 which is very powerful, and um, you can also bring CC bowlers along with them. I won't go into too many details. I'll make a more specific video on it soon. But the point is, I think that might be a new option at Town Hall 9. Throw it in with the kill squad, do a more P.E.K.K.A. heavy attack. Either one might make three-starring just a little bit easier, but I doubt it's going to make like an OP attack that uh, we're just going to see people using, kind of like we saw with witches or something like that. Um, a, a little while ago. I, I don't think it'll affect the balance that much at Town Hall 9. Um, the main Town Hall level that is going to be affected is probably both Town Hall 10 Town Hall 11. Let's talk about Town Hall 10 first, though. It's hard to say which one is going to get more of a change here. The first thing I was thinking when I looked at the update is, um, are the multi-infernos back? That is, I think, something a lot of people have been asking because you have two changes. You have the single inferno being nerfed a little and you have the multi inferno being buffed a little now we we have not been seeing almost any multi infernos just a few on specific bases but single infernos basically took over after that heal spell change where infernos no longer block healing effects that pretty much changed the entire game as as far as what type of inferno tower you use at town hall 10 and i think that we're still going to see single infernos. I think this change is small, you know, only a few DPS extra for uh, the multi and then only a little bit longer to actually get to that maximum DPS for the single. I don't think that's going to have enough of an impact. Plus, if people were to start changing to multi infernos, then I could see the P.E.K.K.A. kind of having an impact. The level 6 P.E.K.K.A. coming down to Town Hall 10 um, they've been changing it so much. Um, I think eventually the P.E.K.K.A. has to be a valuable asset. It's getting very high in hit points, and it does an extremely large amount of DPS. It's kind of like the King minus the ability, but with more damage. And it attacks a little bit slower too, I guess. Not quite as, uh, as quick as the King is either. But um, the point is, I think that because Inferno Towers are going to stay single, it's going to prevent the P.E.K.K.A 
from becoming a popular troop in kill squads at Town Hall 10. Now I could see it used in like a kill squad that's on the opposite side of the base from the Inferno Towers. If both Infernos are kind of off towards one side of the base, I could see people using one or two P.E.K.K.A.s um, just to take out a big portion of the base that doesn't have any coverage by uh, single Infernos. But the single Infernos seem to be a big limiter. Uh, people are more inclined to bring Giants, Bowlers, Valks, stuff that can't get wrecked by that single Inferno quite as quickly. Um, the tanks have been discouraged heavily at Town Hall 10 because of the prevalence of single Infernos. Um, so I think people are going to keep those Infernos on single and the P.E.K.K.A. will probably be limited as well. Now one other thing I want to comment on for Town Hall 10, uh, which isn't getting a whole lot of huge changes, but um, this one might have somewhat of an impact is the multi-mortar. Um, we haven't seen the, the stats for it, and we probably won't until the update actually comes out. That's typically how it works. But the multi-mortar, I think, might be able to mess up some witches and um, some of the witch bowler attacks we see at Town Hall 10 which have been a go-to um, for, I think, pretty, all types of Town Hall 10s, um, CWL or not, people trying to three-star a Town Hall 10. Uh, witches and bowlers have been popular. And I think, you know, even if it's just one multi-mortar, depending on the stats, it might be able to do some solid amount of damage and um, maybe um, do a significant damage to a group of witches that don't have any healers on them. Again, we'll, we'll have to wait and see how it's going to work out. Um, it, it's more of a increase in the amount of damage that it does because all the mortar shots fire at the same target. So it's not like it's going to be targeting a bunch of different things. Um, and skeleton trap or skellies that get spawned by witches only require one mortar shell to take them out anyway. So maybe it won't be that big of a deal, but I'm just looking forward to seeing it. It seems like a cool new defense that, um, I think, I think might be able to do some stuff at Town Hall 10, uh, but we'll see. Okay, moving on to the last one here, Town Hall 11, we have the new P.E.K.K.A., which pretty much the same analysis for Town Hall 10. I don't think it's going to be used that much because of single Infernos, but if people do use a few multis or don't have Inferno coverage in part of the base, maybe we'll see it, maybe for like 10 v 11 attacks, um, but probably not just because of that single Inferno. Bowlers, Valks, Giants seem more of an option. Um, and also the new Red Air Bomb, the new Giant Bomb, the walls, they're all going to have small impacts, I think, at Town Hall 11, and um, they're just going to make it a little bit harder. The Red Air Bomb, I like the new level for that, because that'll make La Luna a little bit harder at Town Hall 11. Um, the Giant Bomb as well, because we don't want to see Town Hall 11 start to shift towards being too easy to three-star, um, because it needs to be that Town Hall level where you have decisive wars where that one or two just a handful of three stars that were very well crafted attacks makes the difference you can't have it slip too far in the attackers favor so i think those small changes they're making to town hall 11 are good and um, overall i think it's a solid update we'll see how it plays out but like i said i'll have some game play of the town hall 9 pekka on my channel very soon um, so you guys can, if you're a Town Hall 9, can get a look at that and see if it's something you might want to start planning out, even practicing with your current P.E.K.K.A. level. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.